What is it I'm not supposed to find out about? Oh, TC, you misunderstood. Uh, Julian and I were just discussing the new pediatric wing at the hospital about how much more work it was going to mean for me. And I was saying that you wouldn't like that much. Yes, I know there's going to be a lot of work for you and a lot of hours. But it'll be so good for the hospital. Yes. I know how dedicated you are to the hospital. And Julian has also just informed me that he's dedicating even more money to the hospital than I thought. Yes, it's um, such a worthy cause. <laughs> you won't forget what you promised me, will you? Oh, absolutely not. I have my word on that. Down, TC, you've got it all wrong. No, you got it wrong. I knew you were involved, Julian. I can't prove it right now, but I swear to you, when I find out, I'll kill you. I didn't do anything. No, you, you, you have my word on that. You just take one more step towards me, Julian, and I'll show you what your word means. Yes. I know how much your word means, Julian. TC, would you get me some champagne? Sure, honey. Thank you, sweetheart. You're welcome. Eve, I know you felt we had to be here tonight because of the pediatric wing and because you're involved with the hospital fundraising. But I just wish somebody else could deal with the cranes instead of my wife. I'm sure that this is the last time I'll have to deal with them. I'm curious about something, though. What's that? Why didn't you ever mention that you knew Julian Crane from the past? Did he ever say we knew each other? No, but you've been giving him strange looks, and I get the distinct impression that you made him uncomfortable. Well, it's probably because the almighty Julian Crane has never had a black man in his house. As a guest, I'm sure. Do you think he's a bigot? <laughs> Both Julian and his father. They don't wear sheets, but they think they're superior, nevertheless. <sighs> Sweetheart, what I know about the cranes, you need to stay clear of them. You don't have to worry, honey. I don't care if I ever see any of the cranes again. They're the wrong people for us, TC. And for the Bennetts, too. I agree. Did Sam ever say anything to you about them? No, but I can tell that Ivy is laughing at Grace behind her back. But then she invites us all to dinner. I mean, why? Ivy must have something else in mind. And Grace is such an innocent, just believing in everybody's goodness. Well, I'm not going to let Ivy hurt Grace. Sam, is everything okay? The sooner I'm out of here, the better. I'm with you on that. You know, I know we both have our reasons for avoiding the cranes. But like I said before, I still think the reason why we're here tonight it's because of you, Ivy inviting you. What does she want? Look, I don't care what she wants. I have what I want. Okay, we didn't get together to listen to music. All right, we're supposed to be thinking of ways to help Charity get the rest of her memory back. I know, but can't we think while we listen to music? Mom, Dad, you're home early. Well, we got a call from the hospital. Charity's missing. What? What do you mean missing? She's nowhere in the hospital. She left. Uh, but Kay called. They said she was okay. She must have left after I called. I I've got to get to the hospital. Miguel, there's nothing that you can do. I can't sit around here and do nothing. Not when Charity could be in trouble. But Miguel, wait for me. Whitney, I'm so glad you're here. Keep an eye on the younger kids. <laughs> Is everything okay? It smells like something burned. Did Simone burn dinner? Dad, you're home early. Simone, just what is going on here? Yeah? 